<laughs> Alright guys, we're back. Let's Let's see what just popped up here. And Athens! Ooh, we know who's in Athens. The Sword Gadding Glint Trail. Sophita's in Athens. Ruins were come in sight in the ancient city of Athens, however, the remains of a large imposing shine caught my attention. Many ancient temples and shrines still dotted the rocky landscapes of Greece. The shrine of Eurydice, said to have been built by the old gods themselves, was one of these. Since the shrine itself was beyond reach, I visited one of the ruined buildings that made up the greater temple complex. Awed by the dignified beauty of the shrine atop the distant peak high above me, I offered up a solemn prayer. Strangely, I was beset by a sudden bout of Disney's. I was smoked out by a poison bomb. You have a most remarkable soul. I felt a voice reverberating within my mind and glanced around nervously. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Interesting, so you can hear my voice. I am Hephaestus, god of the forge. Interesting, cool man. Your soul, it is like melted iron that is yet to be given shape. Whether it is molded into darkness or light still remains to be seen. Hear me, Cage. I have prepared a trial for you. Show me the true nature of your soul. Hey, buddy, you best calm down with all these fancy big words. With the last of Hephaestus' words still ringing in my ears, a great light suddenly enveloped the statues of warriors around me. They groaned, stirred, and stepped forward, pointing their weapons at me. Hephaestus, how are you supposed to learn about my soul by summoning a bunch of Golems and tell them to beat the shit out of me. That don't sound like no soul searching to me. That sounds like abuse. I mean, to the golems, of course. <laughs> of course, it's to the golems, right? Because I'm, I'm gonna win. Yeah, I always win. Yes, yes, every time. Never lose. Nope, 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 nope. nope. I don't believe it. Stop, stop. Nope, doesn't, doesn't have. Opponent is invincible. Oh, I like it. Not only did you summon rock people to fight me, you summoned invincible rock people. Don't worry though. I'm better than invincible. Get out of here, you scumbag of you. Oh, whoa. Come on, put them between me and ledge, and then beat them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 that's not looking good at all. There we go. Come on, roll a little bit, roll a little bit. Come on. Damn it. Perfect. What a lot of bullshit. Alright, I just couldn't get them off the edge last time. Oh, come on. Could you not go ape crap on me? I would appreciate it, Miss Invincible Stone Person. Oh, come on. Stop smacking me. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta beat her back. Let's go, let's go. What the heck? Come on! <laughs> Let me stand back up. Yeah! You punk! I do not rest. You shut your mouth, narrator, man. This is some some bull hockey invincible opponent. What the hell? Stop. 
get help. Yeah, look at that. I, I exposed your bald head. Rocks don't grow hair. Everybody knows that. Come on. Hey, hey. Gosh dang. Forcing people up the edge has become more complicated than when I do not trying to. Now, Hephaestus, I just threw your daughter off a cliff twice. I don't know how she got back up the first time, so I didn't throw her back down. <laughs> oh, goodness. You have proven the purity of your heart, warrior. I grant you this boon. Take the divine object enshrined here. It belongs to you now. It was crafted by a master blacksmith, devout in his worship, and blessed by my hand. If one who has earned my favor wills it, they will be granted immeasurable power. Of course, some who could not hear my voice have benefited from its divine power as well. I asked if I had earned the god's favor. The god was silent for a few moments before responding. <laughs> no. You hold great potential within you, and that power will be needed someday. I will watch over you until that fateful day comes. With that, the voice faded as Hephaestus commanded. I took up the blessed artifact and left the shrine behind. Was it a weapon? Please tell me it was like a powerful weapon. I like weapons. It was a piece of crap weapon that I don't even want to use. You're, you're stupid, Hephaestus. You garbage. Nobody likes you. <laughs> I see. Sometimes these these ones open up important quests. So let's see what we got. It doesn't look like anything important to me. It's been eleven minutes, I think. What the hell? Oh, yes, that guy. No. No, 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 no. We don't mess with that guy. I don't know how long this quest is going to take. This quest seems kind of important, this one right here. See, it says the final key. That sounds pretty final to me. Yeah, see, this seems like kind of end of the end of the quest. Okay, let's do this. Austin Hinesburg Castle was filled with a clash and clamor of battle. Everywhere I looked, groups of Evolve soldiers fought desperately against the qualifiers. Before I knew it, I lost sight of Natalie and Diane in the fray. As I made my way upstairs, the sounds of battle grew dim. Eventually, only the sound of my footsteps echoed through the silent halls. The Hall of the Chosen was just ahead. The Hall of the Chosen was nothing like I had imagined. Large gaps in the crumbling castle walls led in the quiet, silvery light of the moon, illuminating Aswell. He turned to face me as I entered, spreading his arms wide. <laughs> that was very rude of you to keep me waiting, my friend, but I knew you would come. I looked around, but it was just the two of us. Relax, it is just the two of us. No one should disturb us. The others have their hands full downstairs. But it is such a great tragedy they are killing each other over this, is it not? It appeared the ceremony had yet to begin. I needed to act fast. I readied my weapon and as well as grin broadened. <laughs> My not as strong you have become. I know it! You're perfect. For you to make it this far shows how close to the gods you are. Seeing the puzzlement on my face, Aswell sighed and wagged his finger in disapproval. This hurting. Think for a moment. What do we need to create the ultimate seed? Firstly, we need to take the power of the spirits and cursed swords. Then we mix the energy of the heavens to this celestial spectacle and the energy of the earth. The ley lines. Even those fools of the evolved organization would no doubt have figured that out. Even without my research notes. 
<laughs> but that alone is not enough. Why, it could destroy a country or two, but that's boring. We are aiming to change the very world, my dear. We are still missing one key component. In what is to we lack something to create an enormous wave of energy. Something that can absorb power, amplify it, and lose it with exponential greatly force. In other words, you! <laughs> to my surprise, as well, pointed at me through the well, like what people do when they say you. <laughs> the moment I laid eyes on you, I knew you were the one. A human who was able to absorb the power of astral fishes? A human who could claim the power of the astral chaos? However, when we first met, you were still too weak for my needs, so I allowed you to live knowing you would make a uh, more powerful eventually. I batted my time until the day we would meet again. <laughs> you are! Everything has led up to this imperfect moment. Today you and I are part of a beautiful miracle. Aswell lifted his two swords menacingly. All that remains now is to force the power of these blades to resonate with the power inside of you. Chaotic energy in the might of these swords will intervene, amplify, and burst forth. And then the only sword of the ultimate seed come into being and cleanse this world. Yep, I definitely got those words right. <laughs> you will most likely die in the process. Your death will not be in vain. You will be the stepping stone for humanity's great devolution. Oh, what a glorious happy fate. Oh, now don't tell me you think to resist. Fret not, I will give you pure ecstasy. That I promise you. All I have to do is impale you on these swords and my plan will succeed. So come, let the finale commence. How about... No. Something about being impaled on swords does not sound like ecstasy to me. Like, at all. I don't know about y'all. I'm, I'm still thinking about it, it's just... That sounds more painful than anything else. Your opponent's health recovers over time. Oh, that range! Oh, he said he heals over time. We got, we got no chance. We got no chance to let this man calm down. We got to go all kinds of ape. Also, you're, you're pretty bad. You know that. Just saying. You let me grow too strong. Not that long ago, I fought a, a competition for Undead King. Trust me, he was way powerful than you. Like, man, you're good garbage compared to him. Complete trash as well. No, nobody wants to reach your goal, bro. No chaos. No. 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 You didn't think I could block that? <laughs> I think again. Oh, he disappeared, guys. This boy just laughed and teleported. Bunch of coward. Uh, because again, I don't feel like being impaled. Oh my gosh, what the hell? I just completely lost it that round, I guess. Oh my gosh. Let's go. It is over. I just tripped you, buddy. Don't tell me that was some foreshadowing crap, though. I don't appreciate some foreshadowing. About you coming back. You have begun to change. <laughs> I knew you would not disappoint. Thank you for In talking for yourself. Case, I shall have to show you the ace up my sleeve. Oh gosh, the foreshadowing.
Man, I'm not dating you. Get the hell over it. It's just not happening. <laughs> not yours. <laughs> never, never, never will be. So you just need to take a take a big old chill pill right there. Gosh dang. All right, we'll save this for next time because coming close to the end of ours, and who knows how long this could take. <laughs> so I'll see y'all then.